Welcome to a video on learning Twine. In this video I'm going to cover Harlow Style Markup. Style Markup across the different story formats, a way of adding extra symbols to a text to introduce different stylistic options. Coming to this first passage here, the beginning, I have a number of different examples of how to use a style markup in Harlow. All of the different examples, as used here, will show up in the passage editor when using Harlow. All of their presentations will match in both the passage editor and when playing the story. We'll get to that shortly. Looking at all these examples and starting from the top and moving down, we see style markup to create italics, boldface, strike through, emphasis, escaping text, level 1 heading, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, and level 6. All of these examples are a way of introducing style markup, marking up the text, to create different stylistic options. And again, as mentioned, the passage editor will show these examples once you're finished typing them. They will also match the same way the story will be presented. So let's look at that now. Closing this passage, and now running this story, will show the exact same presentation we saw in the passage editor except now the stylistic options will be presented in the way they should be. Notice, starting from the top and going down, italics, bold-faced, strike-through, emphasis, escaped, and heading levels 1 through 6, presented as they match HTML elements. Level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, and level 6. I'm going to take a second and talk about this escaping text here. In this example, we saw the link example along with its hook for that macro. However, this was not rendered into an interactive link. The text was just shown. This is an example of escaping things within Harlow. If you want to show code examples or include even things like passage links, but don't want them converted into their code equivalent or shown in this case as a link, you can escape them. Coming back to our the beginning passage, we see double marks around this to escape this. The passage editor still shows us the color coding of this because it still understands it to be code, but the extra marks around it show that it's actually escaped and will not be rendered. Escaping code is one of a number of different, as I've shown, style markup options. Harlow actually has a number of other options not shown in this video, including how to align things, creating tables, and many other available options. Consulting the Harlow documentation can show you which options are available and how you might use those in combination with your story. All of these, though, along with the most common ones like italics and boldface and strike through, are available in Harlow and again will match in the passage editor as well as their presentation when playing a story. Thanks for watching.